Yeah, this is our plan. Uh, we have a uh, meter here. Then we have a power switch. Okay, even before you can you have to make sure if ever we have a, a lockout. So then we're going to turn our plant on. On, okay. And then it's on. Then from there, this is our switch. It's going to turn off. Then here our plant is running. We have a tank one, we have tank two. Then here is our light. Uh, this one is for our high level, then low level, then this one is for our motor. When the light uh, is red, it shows that the motor is running, then we have a flow, which is a, we call it a cas cascade. cascade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the output of uh, one is the input of another. Then here we have our uh, level control, then from here, this side is where we started. So far there was uh, no wires. Uh, when first time we came here, uh, our instructor, Mr. Owen, he just told us to, to strip all these wires, just to leave it naked. Then from there we will start uh, from the beginning, which was a good thing. Then here we have uh, Mr. Mashiach, <laughs> of which uh, he was uh, one of our best here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He even came up with an idea that uh, we should uh, strip it again, then we should restart it again, which was a good thing. So far, we understand uh, almost 99% uh, yeah. of what is going on here. Then uh, we have, uh, this is our motor, like I said. Then we have our um, magnetic uh, flow. Then we have our magnetic valve from this side. Show me the magnetic. Uh, this one is a magnetic flow meter. Flow meter. Then we have a sensor. sensor. This is our remote, remote sensor. And that one is uh, our ultrasonic sensor. Ultrasonic sensor. Uh, so far, I think uh, Mr. Owen will take over. Then explain a little bit about our process. Uh, and how it went. Uh, yeah. You may know to understand the various instruments as well as to teach them to wire up properly according to their drawings. Then the other side of it is to get manual control on this thing, we can knock it out uh, here by just closing off or opening up a valve. Closing off down here, we're going to put too much water into the one and too little into the other. We're going to start seeing the pumping out here, the lights will start coming on, the alarms will switch off, etc. Indicating a fault condition. They've got to come and return everything back to its standard rate that this thing applies. You'll see now it should go into a wrong condition. There we see that's starting to go. Motor's off, front is off. At that stage, she switches back on again because she's trying to get the readings from the various sites to work. So what we have to do is we have to start giving it more from here. So we let the water flow back in. Pick this up, close off the straight. There we go. And you see it'll settle itself down now. Huh? And the object behind this is this is what the guys get to wire in eventually everything that's in here and understand the fault. So the main object of them is to get them to wire the plant accordingly, connect everything up and understand it, how it operates to do the fault finding. Then we get to the PLC side where this is your control version, that's that side of the plant. So they operate from this end, they've got to work on that side. So you can't stand here and work on it. So it's realistic. And then the other thing that's important is that we can also we just close this down a bit. What you can also do is that uh, when the PLC guys come along, they do PLCs. They take this plant like this. That's why they do instruments, and they come do PLCs. They take this plant and they start making it run from the HMI interface that's here. They learn to program it, run it, and then there's different parameters. You can control flow, control level, you can control speed, everything etc. These little plants suit themselves, they work well. We'll just get this down. So you can see the situation is back under control again. So underneath that's where it is, and again your level should be at a certain maintain. What does the level read on that side? What's it on the thing? It should be about four or seven five. Yeah, yeah, it is. We should. Just under just under point five. Yeah. five. Which is equal distribution between the top tank and the bottom tank. What we can also do with these are the guys that do the tray test, 
is that we hook up these plants, this plant to that plant, to that plant. And again, only giving them one tank of water, you notice the water is not running all the time, yeah. One tank of water split even.